Hey guys, Parfax here. Today I'm going to bring you a video on my thoughts on New World postponing the launch date till September 28th. All right, let's get started. All right, so if you haven't heard, New World decided to make the release date now September 28th for the New World launch which is having some people pretty negative and some people are okay with it. So this video is gonna cover my thoughts. We're gonna go over the good, the bad, and overall my thoughts on it and you know what is going to happen from that extra month of them actually being able to work on the game for an extra month. So first let's talk about my initial thoughts. I was, uh, I was pretty disappointed when I heard it. I thought this might be something they could do. If you guys don't know, there's duping bugs. There's a few exploits that they've got to get fixed. And there's something that they have to fix before launch because you don't want the dreaded, you know, especially duping to be a thing because that can do, you know, things like destroy economies. And if you get the EXP glitches, you can just do a lot of different things that can really harm the game a lot more than having a one month extra to work on it. So, I was pretty disappointed, but it's something I've kind of come to grip with, and I don't think it's that bad of a thing. Me personally, it may actually be a little bit better. There's a few things I wanted to do before the New World launch, and this is really going to give me the ability to do it. But I was extremely looking forward to the game launching on the 31st. This, you know, we're ready for just a couple more weeks till actual launch, but I understand where they're coming from. Now, what I think they're really working on, I think it is mainly the duping bugs. That's a coding issue. Um, also, they're gonna be working on the exploits. They're gonna be working on weapon balance. Some of the same things I touched in a video a couple days ago, but you know, the new world, what's next? But they're really gonna be touching up on those. We're gonna see a lot of balances. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, well, you know, are we gonna get new zones? Are we gonna get new weapons? And I've heard, uh, and I've had many people in the comment sections of my video saying, oh, Parfax, do your research. Uh, there's new weapons coming. Yeah, we've always known there's more weapons coming. They've told us there's more weapons coming. But if you go back and look at the May update in the developer's post, they say that they're going to be working on just doing bug fixes and working on performance and those type of things. They said they're essentially stopping the major updates. So I would be pretty shocked if we get any more zones if we get anything like that also if they can fix the exp exploit and if they get the town board under control which i think it's pretty close to being there with the changes they've done while we were in beta they've cut it by oh man it's like 75 percent or something like that the experience you get from it it's gonna take the average person at least a month to get to level 60 and you're looking at a couple weeks for the typical MMO player that's neck bearding. Like everybody that was 60 at the beta was actually, you know, utilizing the town boards and they were putting in significant hours to get there if they weren't exploiting. Now, I don't know of a person that hit 60 that didn't actually exploit. Now that's not saying they didn't. You could just stand at the board all day, every day. You can have people feed your resources. You could go out and get your resources. You could buy the resources but they were pretty expensive and almost everybody that was there exploited. And if they didn't, they utilized the town board to its fullest and the town board was significantly nerfed after that. So it's going to take you weeks. And why do I bring this up is because that's going to give them plenty of time to actually get content out there because once we get to end game, which will be a month down the road for most people, then you still have time to do the end game stuff. You have time to still continuously upgrade your gear. So you have a couple months, you have three, four, five months after the game has launched where you will still be doing and upgrading your gear through the end game system that they already have in the game. So they have many months before they actually need to push out content. So why would they actually put out more content before launch? when it's gonna be a month before people even get to that content anyway. Now you can say maybe they wanna add a new weapon, but if they add a new weapon, it's gonna take some testing. And they have not mentioned that they're gonna actually put up the alpha 
or do a run another beta. I doubt they do another beta. There's a chance they put back up the alpha, the NDA alpha, if you were invited to it. Um, there's a chance they put that back up. I checked actually today and it wasn't up yet. Um, so there's that. But what they're going to be doing is they're going to be fixing the bugs and exploits. There wasn't anything where people were saying there's not enough endgame. You know why? Because such a tiny percentage of the population actually got to endgame that there wouldn't have been enough feedback to actually get there. And the people that had got to endgame, most of them had played the alpha. So there's that. I mean, there was very little level 60s, and there's not even enough people that are level 60 to actually even judge what the endgame is like in New World. The best judge would have been an alpha. So they would have known that already. Now, a very big negative is for the people that took off vacation for that week. I think this is extremely bad for a game this close to launch to push it back for that reason, because people take time off, they take weeks off, they really maneuver their life around getting some time to play the game. And when a game this close to release swaps it a month back, it can be pretty detrimental to that person. That person might not be able to take the next week off. Maybe someone else took that week off. So it's very unfortunate, but I do understand it. I would much prefer them get the exploits and the bugs fixed, improve performance a little bit, do some balancing changes, which we knew they were gonna do that. The balancing thing, that was gonna happen whether they moved it back a month or not. The month is going to be mainly for the exploits and the duping, which is an exploit, but there was duping and exploits. That's what they're going to try to fix, I imagine. They, I mean, obviously, I don't have any insider knowledge, but that's what they're going to be working on for that extra month, and then they're just going to work on polishing the game. All right, let me know your comments down below what you think. I, you know, my gut feeling was like, oh, no, what am I going to do for an extra month? I'm like, this sucks. But I understand it. I would rather them put out a game that is more polished and put out when they feel like it's ready to be put out versus put out a game that's too soon with exploits and bugs like that that can absolutely wreck a game at launch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Remember, twitch.tv slash perfectsgaming. You can follow me over there, and uh, you can also follow me at Twitter, and that's the same thing, Twitter, and then it's perfectsgaming. All that stuff is in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon.